Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Free AI generator for Pixar style animations and 3D animated video stories. This is your favorite tutorial topic. Right, Iman Global fam? I've noticed how much you all love diving into the world of 3D animation, especially when we can achieve that Pixar quality look. What if I told you that you could create Pixar quality animations right from your own computer? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, thanks to the power of AI, it's now a reality. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore a cutting edge AI tool that will blow your mind. Get ready to be amazed. We visit the Kling AI website. This is the next gen AI. The main features of this AI are listed at the top of the website. Kling AI includes a text-to-image feature called AI Images and a text-to-video feature named AI Videos. Interestingly, Kling AI also has a video editor, which is currently inactive but will soon be available to the public. A bit further down, there is a gallery showcasing works generated by Kling AI, categorized into images and videos. You can use the drop-down menu on the right to sort the gallery by images or videos. When you click on an image, a details window opens, displaying the prompt used to generate the item. Additionally, when you hover over the three-dot icon in this window, you gain access to the download option for that image. The clone and try option allows you to use the settings of this image to generate a different one with similar characteristics. Similarly, when you click on a video, a details window opens, where the prompt for that video is visible, and you can play, view, and review the video. Hovering over the three-dot icon in this window also gives you access to the download option for that video. The clone and try option allows you to use the same settings to generate a completely new video based on these characteristics. In the gallery, when you hover over image and video items, you can access the download option for that item by moving your mouse over the three-dot icon. To create a user account and log in, click on the sign in button at the top right corner of the site. If you already have an account, just enter your email and password and click on sign in. If you don't have an account yet, click on the sign up for free link and follow the steps. Since I already have an account, I'll click on sign in. Enter your email and password, then click next. A security verification window will open, displaying a puzzle image with a missing piece that you need to fill in by dragging the slider attached to the puzzle piece to the correct position. Once the puzzle is complete, the security verification is done and you're logged into the Kling AI website. On the top right of the site, there is a profile icon for your account, which has a drop-down list. In this list, be sure to read the copyright policies of this AI so that you can fully understand how to use the images and videos you generate on various platforms and social media. When you create a user account, you are given 66 free tokens, which you can use to generate videos and images. These tokens are recharged for free every 24 hours. One of the amazing features of Kling AI is the text -to image feature, which allows you to turn your ideas into stunning images in various genres, from 3D to realistic. Let's explore the text -to image feature now. To do this, click on the AI images option in the left menu. This takes us to a new page. The gallery of images we've previously created is accessible in the right hand panel. In the prompt panel, you can type your ideas as text, which Kling AI will convert into an image. You can enter up to 2,500 characters in the prompt box. Since I've already written my idea, I'll just paste it here. One crucial tip for writing prompts is selecting the style for generating images. For example, if you want the image to resemble Pixar style animations, include phrases like Pixar style or 3D animation in your prompt. On the other hand, if you want the image to be highly realistic, it's better to use terms like realistic in the prompt. This helps the AI better understand your needs. Interestingly, below the prompt panel, there is a panel called reference image that allows us to upload an image, and we can even perform an image to image process, which we'll cover in future tutorials. Further down in the settings panel, you can adjust the aspect ratio, which controls the dimensions, such as square, horizontal rectangle, and vertical rectangle for different social media platforms. As you hover over each aspect ratio, its dimensions are displayed. In the number of images section, you can specify the number of images generated in each process based on your token availability. 
After setting everything up, click on the generate button. Your request will be queued, and after a very short time, an image will be generated based on your text and idea. The result of the text-to-image process and the 3D animation style is truly amazing. Click on the image to reveal the Bring to Life option to convert the image into a video, and the As Reference option for the image-to-image -image process. The download button is located below the image for free download. Additionally, hovering over the three-dot icon provides access to the Delete option for removing the image. The download button is also available at the top right corner of the image. If you're not happy with the generated result, try it several times with different settings until you get an excellent outcome. In my opinion, this text-to-image feature in the Pixar-style 3D animation is quite impressive, though further testing is needed to fully evaluate this art generator. Click the Back to Dashboard option in the top left corner to return to the site's main page. Now, let's explore the text-to-video service from Kling AI. To enter the text-to-video section, click on the AI videos item on the left. In the new page, you can access the gallery of videos you've previously generated in the right-hand panel and view all your previous works. The left-hand panel provides access to two tabs, text-to-video and image-to-video. In the text-to-video section, you can type your ideas in the text box called the prompt box, and Kling AI will turn them into a video. The image-to-video tab allows you to animate your images and bring them to life. I'll paste my pre-written idea into the prompt box. Further down in the settings panel, there's a slider with creativity on the left and relevance on the right, which I'll leave unchanged. The standard mode in the free plan offers faster generation speed, while professional mode provides better visual quality, but is only available through the premium plan. In the length section, you can control the video's duration between 5 and 10 seconds, though the 10 second length is only available in the premium plan. The frame ratio section allows you to set dimensions such as vertical rectangle, horizontal rectangle, and square. Further down in the camera movement panel, you can define camera motion. The drop-down menu in the camera control section includes movements like horizontal, vertical, zoom, pan, tilt, and roll. I'll choose zoom. You can also control the amount of zoom using the slider below. The negative prompt panel lets you list the types of content you don't want to see in the video. Once everything is set, click the generate button. Currently, each generate process deducts 10 tokens from your balance. Your request will be queued, and after a short while, a video will be generated based on your settings. Now I'll play the video. The download button is located below the video frame. In the free account, videos have a watermark. Hovering over the three-dot icon provides access to the delete option for removing the video. Thumbnails of your created works are also listed in the right-hand panel for quick access. Here's a crucial point. Are you thinking that five-second videos are too short and useless? If so, you're totally mistaken. In the final part of this tutorial, I'll teach you how to extend short videos and create longer ones. So, make sure to follow along closely. Next, I'll click on the Image to Video tab. Here, I'll demonstrate how to convert an image into a video. The Image to Video conversion has two different modes. In the first mode, you can upload your personal images to this AI and animate them. In the second mode, you can animate the images you've created within this AI. We'll explore both options. There's a panel called Image and Prompt where you can upload JPG and PNG images up to 10 megabytes in size and with a minimum dimension of 300 pixels. Click in the center of the box to upload an image. After uploading, the image's thumbnail will appear in the Image and Prompt panel, with an icon next to it for deleting the image. Then, in the Prompt section, you can type your ideas for animating the image. Further down in the Settings panel, the same slider for choosing between creativity and relevance is available, which I'll leave unchanged. The standard mode in the free plan offers faster generation speed, while professional mode provides better visual quality, but is only available in the premium plan. In the length section, you can set the video duration between 5 and 10 seconds, with the 10 second length again only available in the premium plan. The camera movement option is also available for the image to video process but is currently inactive and likely to be accessible soon. Click generate to start the process. Again, 10 tokens are deducted from your balance. Your request will be queued, and after a short time, the image is converted into a video and displayed. Now I'll play the video. The download button is located below the video frame for free download to your device. Remember, videos have a watermark in the free account and you'll need to purchase the premium plan to download videos without it. If you're not happy with the generated result, 
Try it several times with different settings until you achieve the best outcome. Now, let's explore the second mode in image to video which is animating images created within this AI. In the image and prompt panel, click on history. The gallery of works previously created in this AI is displayed. Click on one of them. Then, in the prompt section, you can type your ideas for animating the image. With the same previous settings, click the generate button. Again, 10 tokens are deducted from your balance. As long as you have tokens, you can repeat this process multiple times. Your request will be queued, and after a short time, the image is converted into a video and displayed. The download button is located below the video frame. A significant challenge that many of my viewers frequently complain about in the comments on my channel is that AI-generated videos are often too short to be useful. They keep asking me to recommend an AI that can create longer videos. In response, I must say that, as of the date of this tutorial's release, I haven't seen any well-known AI available to the public that can generate videos longer than 10 seconds. There are a few AI tools that offer the ability to extend the length of short videos, but unfortunately, these services are paid. So, what's the solution? The solution is to break down your story into different smaller scenes or shots and create short videos for each one from various camera angles using AI. Then, you can combine and arrange all these clips on the timeline in an editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro or apps like CapCut, or even online editors like Canva, to create a longer video. For example, I create a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro. I give it a name, choose the project location, and click on Create. Next, I create a timeline by going to the File menu and selecting the option to create a sequence. I name the sequence and set its dimensions and frame rate. Then, I import the videos into Premiere Pro. I select the short videos I generated, drag and drop them into the project panel, then drag and drop them onto the timeline. I arrange the videos one after the other on the timeline to build a longer video based on the story by combining the short clips. I then right-click on one of the videos to match their dimensions with the sequence settings. Next, I select a background music track or a voiceover file, drag and drop it onto the timeline, and adjust its length. To create a long video file in MP4 format, I need to export the project. I click on Export, name the output file, choose where to save the video file, set the output format to H264 MP4. and then click on export. After a few minutes, my long video is ready. Naturally, video editing involves many details like adjusting audio, color correction, adding effects, transitions, and many other small tweaks. If you'd like me to teach this in detail step by step, please comment with the words. Video edit. If there are enough requests, I'll definitely create a separate tutorial on this topic. Like this video? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So what are you waiting for? Start creating amazing animations with AI today. This is just the beginning. Let's push the boundaries together. Want to learn more? Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Remember, the future is AI. So embrace it. See you in the next tutorial.